Ruby. Ruby is the dog in this hairdresser's. I don't know what kind of dog you'd call that. I'm not good on dogs. Beautiful dog. I, I She's a poodle collie cross. Poodle collie cross. Yes. Hopefully she'll go on camera. Hey, I can move this and then we can get her on camera. Poodle collie cross. Poodle collie cross. Oh, she's just found somewhere else. She thinks I'm too loud. Ruby. Ruby. She's hiding around the corner. Okay, come on, come on out. Come on out for meet the folks. People love dogs. You're helping me get boats, Ruby. You're helping me get boats. Okay, who are you? Put a, put a cross for Crossland. Put a cross, cross, a cross for Crossland. On the 12th. Okay, the hairdresser is giving me a funny look now. As if, who has walked into her salon? What's this about? Luckily, only a few people are going to see it because I'm just a small little independent guy. And I have a three on the, a th three on the side and a five on the top. That's my usual haircut. Oh, it's just a shave off there, really. Is that a fiver job? No. It's usually seven fifty because you have to blend the side. But it depends how well it goes. Yeah, you okay? Somewhere between a fiver and seven fifty in Hastings. Yeah, you see, depends. if you're a DFL like me down from London, you just love the prices you're people quote DFL, you. You're, you're yes, you're right. Thank you very much. Hello. I'm going to turn the camera on you now for calling me Phil. I know, oh, yeah. I, I, I did know it, but right, um, okay. it, it is a bit rude really, sounding, isn't it? really insulting me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been, I've been called the filth and that's not an insult at all. Look. Thank you, cheers, put a cross for Crossland. Thank you. Well, so now that noisy person's gone, we can have a nice quiet conversation. Why have you put a t-shirt there? Is that because you want that in your... I don't want, um, it needs to be in the shot, because that's my main slogan, I'd like the right not to be irradiated beyond 4G. I don't need any hair, any hair blower, unless you're going to make my hair wet and need to dry it. I will have to wet it a little bit. Okay, cool. And Jojo is you. Don't come too close to the um... to the to the wall. No, because okay. I need to come round the side oh, of you. Oh, of course. You're too okay. Close, it's too, it's... I'm also too fat, but I can't do much about that in the oh, short is that term. What you... Yeah, you're right. I'm all right. I'm on. I'm on shot. Well, so I'm, I'm amazed we started talking politics already before. Well, you started it. Oh, well. <laughs> well I wouldn't have done. Yeah, who started politics in the world? I wonder. Uh, you've put your thing on top of my... Oh, you need that, don't you, to go that. around. So yeah. let's go for... Thank the you. rubber thing, there must be a special word for it. Uh, yeah, it's a collar. Okay, a collar. Cutting I'm bit, collar. I'm having a cutting collar put on me by... Ah! That was by a me? Bit, yes, that was just a bit clumsy of me. Yeah, it was glued, it fell off. Uh, okay. One's hairdresser today is Jojo. I love pebbles and a little bit of metal work on the pebble makes the Jojo. What did we talk about, about politics? Because you've got ten wishes. I'm, trying, I'm here to grant you ten wishes. Oh, right. Okay. I'm not a magic... Well, well, I'd like to get rid of plastic. Mm. I think plastic is a real biggie at the moment. Tell me how far you've managed to get in getting rid of plastic mm, in your life. Not very far. Yeah, okay. Because it's just... You haven't, you haven't gone for the wooden toothbrush, have you? Oh, my daughter. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. But well, I've got an electric boot toothbrush, which I've had for about five years. And it does the job really and it, and, and well. And I'm using it over and over again, and I'm getting yeah. more wear out of it. So Rather than throwing away plastic It's not like I'm chucking ones. it in the rubbish yeah, yeah. every day, is it? But, um, yeah, I'm trying really hard to um, cut down all my plastics, but I just don't think the government gives too much of a... Monkeys. monkeys. Yeah, we chose monkeys, the right word yeah, there, monkeys. Yeah, that was a lovely moment and, of synchronicity. Yeah, and I'm not, so I'm not happy with that at all. I get very upset. And your daughter. What number did you want? Two. Oh no, no that's a bit beyond. Uh, what did you uh, say? Three at the side, five yeah. at the top. Three. Um, I um, luckily I've got a woolly hat for this time of the year. Um, so. So I'd probably vote green, to be honest. I'm your greenest candidate. Seriously, I am. Oh, I yeah. worked, used to work at Green Party headquarters. I um, have been a Green Party member for much of my adult life. I've never been a party member of any other party. I was very disappointed they weren't putting a candidate up this year. I think it's important. Well, I saw a thingy on the, um, on the TV. Um, oh, okay, so that's nationally there's a, yeah. uh, a campaign. They have, there's yeah. a campaign. Yeah. But locally they bowed, oh, they bowed out so that, yeah. uh, you know, I was even at the selection panel where they chose to, which of the two candidates, um, one of whom was from Rye, uh, one of whom was Hastings and I was surprised they chose the right one. I thought the favouritism would usually go towards the Hastings person because it usually trumps the smaller place in, yeah, in matters. Yeah. Um, 
But anyhow, they chose a candidate and then they went and met up with the Labour Party and said, oh, we don't want to stop your chances of getting rid of the Tories. Now, I think yeah. a campaign... A, a, a campaign... I know, I know this was supposed to be you saying, talking and not me, but, um, you know... It's, it's OK, fine. I like camp- to sound your own voice, obviously. <laughs> I, I like the opportunity to communicate to the public yeah. and give them a, a decent, op- decent democratic alternative. Yeah. And I am the green democratic alternative to Labour, Lib Dems and Conservative in this election. And I can say that um, I will not shortchange um, the, the needs of the, the special places um, in our country and abroad where things come from. We need to care about those places. Mm. That's all we need to do in a way. Share what we have, our resources more sensibly, and care about all the places. So caring and sharing political parties what I'm in the process of setting up mm. after this election. And then we'll go for a job share MP with five of us choosing someone, it might not be me next time, who, um, who then has a better chance of getting elected than I've got this time. Um, so, but I'm, I'm interested in the relationship between mothers and daughters and granddaughters because my partner's got a ten-year-old, and the ten-year-old's really an environmentalist and mm. encouraging her mum in all sorts of ways. Now, her mum has thought the thoughts, but not quite put it all into action before. Yeah. Um, and now it's things are really ha- things are really moving because children are getting upset in schools. Children are very upset, and yeah. so they should be. Yeah. So, um, have well, you, my daughters have you aren't been spurred on? No, my you're, daughters you're, you're grown daughter, up. I'll, I'll I've always been environmental. Right. You know, I've always had been interested and tried to, um, you know, help the environment as much as I can. But they they have taken it one step further, mm-hmm. and are, are more, you know, like I said, my daughter's a vegan and she's. Uh, <laughs> oh. That wasn't me. Does that usually happen, or do you need to have a bump on your head or something for that to happen? It's fine. No, it, right. it does it every now and then. It's the okay. um, we'll have to swing you around, otherwise we'll um, yeah. we'll stand in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for thinking of the end result. I will probably take an email address so you can see where it's gone and what it looks like. And if you want it taken down, of course, uh, you have every right for that to, to happen. But I appreciate the uh, ease with which you said yes to something that might have been very left field for some people. Hey, filming someone having a haircut. Has it ever happened before? <laughs> it hasn't happened before here. <laughs> no political candidates uh, or anyone else with a YouTube um, obsession. Because I think we do live in wonderful times as well as precarious times. You know, if based on the fact that I bought an iPhone and um, ignored the fact that there are um, children in down lithium mines in places like South Africa... Yeah. Um, and China's doing dodgy things and suppressing people in Hong Kong and uh, you know we're all, I'm all part of that nexus through having bought an iPhone yeah, I've um, got an iPhone too yeah but they're such amazing toys they give a lot of power to us if we, if we know how time. to use them <laughs> I don't get a new one every time they bring them okay well that's my, <laughs> my credentials too I started with the 3S three, the three iPhone 3S then I waited to the 6 and I, must, I then chose a 7, and I'm still on a 7. I'm not bothered about the 10 and the XR. What, what, what's your history of iPhones? Mine's just a 6. Mine's a 6. I had, but, one, I had one before that. I which was? That. What, a 5 oh, and I, a 4? Probably, yeah, 5, I think. Right. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm interested in people who knew people who went for the very daughter. first one. <laughs> I gave to my yeah. daughter that one, and then she's had that for a while, and then she's it's, somebody else. Yeah, my, my, my partner and, passes yeah. her iPhones down yeah, too, well, but there are so many. There's so many iPhones. Do you have a view on 5G? No. Well, I don't really know anything about The it. thing is that we need to just be cautious about it. If they haven't asked you for your consent, then I don't think you should allow them to install something that a lot of people are concerned is very, very dangerous. Why is it dangerous? It's a form of cooking human beings slowly. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, yeah, he's one of them. He's a conspiracy theorist. That does sound strong, doesn't it? It's, um, the World Health Organization has been nobbled. They are not applying new standards to how much radiation uh, the public can be exposed to. I interviewed someone yesterday with electromagnetic sensitivity. She has all sorts of symptoms. You can imagine a whole range. When she goes up, particularly near the police station, where they have all the uh, broadcasting equipment for contacting uh, the squad cars and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. She can't stand it being around, around there. She has tried to get her illness registered through the doctors, but they just call it fibromyalgia. That's the... No, oh, that's the in disease. Yeah, but it's not what... She feels that she needs her electromagnetic um, sensitivity to be acknowledged, and I think it's a blessing 
that there are people who are more sensitive than me in the world. Mm. Um, Why have they said it's fibromyalgia? That's a completely different... I, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but well, I can I don't take, think they, I they take, understand I can, fibromyalgia, so they yeah. just put things down to it. I mean, I was told in terms of mental health, and this won't surprise you, um, my best friend from school said I could go along to a doctor with any of, let's say, five different types of mental health problems and claim I've got it, and if I claimed that, I'd probably be diagnosed with it. I'm, I am in something called long-term mood disorder research that Stephen Fry is in. Have you mm. heard that he did... Programs on um, being borderline bipolar, yeah, yeah. just like him. Yes, I'm, bo- I'm borderline bipolar, so I use the hashtag um, bipolar warrior. And, I, and just before getting my nomination form in, I was at my dad's house in Canterbury for six days in bed with depression, thinking I'm no good, I can't do anything. I'm, I really have stuck my neck out thinking I'm going to go for this election. But then suddenly I got the energy together, got out, got into the countryside, got some energy from going to ancient places. Um, and um, and came down and had to find ten signatures who would who would back my form within um, whatever it was twenty four hours. My oldest friend in Hastings, um, I mean a Hastings up rather than friends I've had from Canterbury, because yeah. um, people have come down from Canterbury here that I know. My oldest friend, he um, he wouldn't he, he, he although he's on my YouTube channel all the time. Strangely, he wouldn't nominate me. If I'd have come in here and spoken for ten minutes to you. Do you think you'd have signed your name in such a controversial thing as uh, making sure there's four people on the ballot paper rather than three? You don't know, but that's just hypothetical. We don't need to go there. We need to talk more about plastic. You've got a call. I'm going to turn that off. Thank you. You have been watching.